The Broadway community has lost a bright light. Playbill and the University of Michigan Musical Theater Department confirmed on August 15 that Chris Peluso, who played Sophie's fiance Sky in the Broadway production of Mamma Mia and toured in Wicked as Fyro, had passed away. He was 40. The death's cause remains unknown. Nearly a year after his friends Rebecca Lachance and Tim Oxbrow revealed that Peluso had retired from performing due to schizoaffective disease, the artist has passed away. Lachance and Oxbrow said in a September 2022 GoFunda page, This diagnosis has resulted in Chris experiencing debilitating paranoia, which has kept him from performing in recent years. Chris's mental health has affected every aspect of his life, including his ability to work in the field he built his career in over the last 18 years. Peluso shared the GoFundMe campaign once more, this time on X, previously Twitter. His last known social media engagement was in January of 2021, before this post. Upon the birth of his daughter, Aria Lee Gomes Peluso, Peluso took a picture with his beloved King Charles Cavalier Petey, who sadly passed away later that same year, having attempted and failed to make it big on London's West End. Peluso relocated to the United States in 2022. Peluso had to leave behind his wife, Jessica Gomes, and daughter, as well as his acting career, which has seen him in shows including The Woman in White, Death Takes a Holiday, Showboat, and The Revival of Miss Sagan. Recent months have been paranoiac, consumed him to the extent that he is unable to work any job and has had to leave his wife and young child and return to America to seek treatment. The GoFundMe stated, Chris was recently hospitalized for around two weeks and he has no health care insurance in the United States. He is currently receiving care at an inpatient facility for mental health issues. Peluso also wrote a letter on the GoFundMe, stating his desire to help others through his story. So many people suffer from mental illness in silence, and I hope this helps bring some attention to that. He stated, You have no idea what difficulties another person is facing. Treat one another with kindness. After a few months, Peluso updated the GoFundMe, saying, able to hold down a job again, and even began taping some auditions. Many performers have expressed their sorrow at Peluso's loss, recalling him as a talented artist. It's a tragedy. Chris has only ever appeared in my happy recollections. I am clinging to the hope he gave me. What a generous person. That's gold. Such a generous person. Tony Trucks said of Peluso, a Michigan alumnus, so talented and loving, in a remark on the university's Instagram homage to him. DZ Oakley continued, I learned so much from his kindness and professionalism. I am sending so much love to all who walked closely with him. As an understudy in the 2004 revival of Assassins, Peluso first gained widespread attention in the theater world. In addition to Funny Girl's 2017 UK tour, he has performed in Beautiful, the Carol King musical and Lestat on Broadway. Theatrical performance meant the world to Peluso. Theater is my everything. He shared this with a pocket-sized theater in 2017. It has given me friends, family, education, structure, meaning, and purpose. I wouldn't be who I am today if it weren't for theater. Playbill states that Peluso's wife Jessica and their daughters, Aria, and Cayo and Gomes Peluso will miss him greatly. Check out these images from his shows and during his life.